As the scapegoat child in my narcissistic family, I decided to go no contact with my biological father. It was because of a lifetime of abuse and neglect that he put me through. My dad would do cruel things to me with no remorse. He would blatantly favor my siblings over me. He would find ways to slight me, discredit me, ostracize me, and just make me feel like I wasn't his daughter. There are several cruel things my dad has did to me throughout my life, but here's a story time of one of them. Story time. This happened when I was around maybe 10 years old. My sister and I would stay at my mom's during the week and go to my dad's on weekends. My dad involved us in gymnastics and swimming on Saturday mornings. We would have gymnastics then swimming back to back. Once we got out of swimming, we had worked up an appetite so my dad would always get us something to eat on the way home. And then my dad would do things like ask us what we wanted as if he was going to give it to us. So on a particular Saturday, he asked us what we wanted and I said McDonald's because I always wanted McDonald's. And my dad goes, well, I don't really want McDonald's. I want something else. So my dad proceeds to go to Panera because that's what he had a taste for. So when we get inside Panera, him and my sister order something they order their food and he asked me what I wanted. And I said, no, dad, I want McDonald's. And he says, OK, well, I can get you some McDonald's when we leave here. So once we order everything, then he looks at me and goes, well, you know, honey, we're going to go ahead and just eat here and then we could just get you your McDonald's afterwards. So then we proceed to sit down at the table. And while the two of them are eating their food and I'm sitting there with no food, I begin to cry. And then my dad, he looks at me and then he starts to laugh and chuckle and goes, what's wrong, honey? I told you I was going to get you some food once we leave here. You still going to eat. You need to hold your horses. You're not starving in a very condescending tone. And me being an autistic child and unable to express my emotions, I couldn't tell him why I was upset. I was upset because he thought it was OK for him and my sister to just eat in front of my face, knowing I was hungry, too. He could have got their food to go and then went to pick up my McDonald's and we all could have went home and everyone could have been satisfied. But instead, my narcissistic dad wanted to be selfish and do things his way. So while we're sitting there and I'm still crying, my sister look over at me and goes, do you want to call mama? And I shake my head. Yes. So she asked my dad, daddy, can Terry use your phone so she can call mama? And then I called my mom and I began to cry and talk to her, but I couldn't really tell her exactly what I was upset about. My dad and sister did share a little bit of their food with me, but that wasn't the case. It was the principle of how cruel and mean it was to do that to a child.